Hello there, grade 9 students! Welcome back again to our topic about simplifying radical expression. So this is now the part 2 and for this video, we will discuss the last two subtopic which is the conjugate of radical expression and simplifying radicals by rationalizing the denominators. So, unahin na natin ang conjugate of radical expression. So, find the product of the radical expression and its conjugate. So, kapag sinabi natin conjugate, kapalitan lang natin yung sign niya dito. So, ang conjugate ng expression na to, so kung ito ay minus, ang conjugate niya dito is plus. At kapag plus naman ang radical expression, ang conjugate naman niya dito is minus. So, ganun lang siya kadali kunin yung conjugate. Kaya, gawin na natin siya. So, yung number 1 natin, the square root of 3 minus the square root of 4. Ang conjugate ng expression na to is the square root of 3 plus the square root of 4. So, as you can see, pinalitan lang natin yung operation nila. Then, for number 2, the conjugate of the square root of 5 plus 4 is the square root of 5 minus 4. And number 3, the conjugate of 7 plus the square root of 7 is 7 minus the square root of 7. So, ganun lang yung pagkuha ng conjugate. Okay, sunod naman yung product. Sa pagkuha ng product ay katulad lamang dun sa procedure in multiplying the sum and difference of two binomials. So, naalala pa ba paano kuhanin yung product ng sum and difference of two binomials? So, ganito yon. Halimbawa dito sa x plus y, 1 times x minus y. So, mapapansin ninyo, magkatulad na magkatulad lang sila, pero yung sign lang nila yung magkaiba. So, para kuhanin natin yung product dito sa expression na to, kukunin lang natin yung square ng first term, tapos yung square ng last term. So, paano yon? Ganito yon. So, ang square ng first term is x squared. Ang square ng last term ay y squared. Tapos, yung sign nila is positive. So, positive times negative is equals to negative. So, yun lang yung product nila. Ganun din ang gagawin natin dito sa conjugate kasi halos magkatulad lang naman sila. Ang sign lang din yung pinagkaiba. So, umpisahan natin sa number 1 expression. So, kunin natin yung square ng first term muna. So, the square root of 3 squared. Then, negative times positive is equals to negative. Tapos, yung square naman nung last term. So, we have the square root of 4 squared. So, katulad nung ginawa natin doon sa huling video natin, para mas madaling ma-simplify natin. So, ang ginagawa lang natin is kinakancel lang natin yung index at saka yung exponent. So, 2 divided by 2 kasi yung index niya ay 2. So, ang natira na lang ay 3. Then, bring down negative. Then, ganun din ang gagawin natin. Cancel natin ang exponent at saka yung index. So, ang matitira ay 4. So, 3 minus 4 is equals to negative 1. So, yun ang product natin dito sa unang expression natin. Okay, so bakit natin ginanito? Idea na to is the same with the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. So, same lang yan sila. At kapag kinuha natin yung product ng the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, ang sagot ay the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is equals to 3. Kasi 3 times 3 is equals to 9. So, ito lang din siya. Yung idea na yun. Para mas madali, so ito na lang yung ginagawa natin. Okay, so next, number 2 expression natin. So kunin natin yung square ng first term ng the square root of 5. So we have the square root of 5 squared. Then positive times negative is equals to negative. Then yung square ng last term na 4 squared. Tapos ganun din uli. Para mas simplify natin siya, i-divide natin yung exponent dito sa index. So kakancel na lang natin yan. So... We have 5, then bring down negative, then 4 squared is equals to 16. So, 5 minus 16 is equal to negative 11. So, ang product ng second expression natin is negative 11. Okay, next, number 3 example natin is 7 plus the square root of 7 times 7 minus the square root of 7. So, kunin natin yung square ng first term. So, we have... 7 squared, 
Then positive times negative is equals to negative. Then the square of the last term, which is the square root of 7. So the square root of 7 squared. So it's simplify natin. 7 squared is equals to 49. Then bring down. Para mas simplify natin to, so ikakancel lang din natin yung exponent at saka yung index. So ang natira ay 7. So, 49 minus 7 is equal to 42. So, yun naman yung product. Ganun lang ang pagkuha ng conjugated product ng radical expression. Okay, now let's move on to our last topic about simplifying radical expressions, which is simplifying radicals by rationalizing the denominators. Okay, guys, tandaan, bawal magkaroon ng radical number ang denominator. Kaya para maalis ang radical number sa denominator, kailangan nating mag-rationalize. To rationalize the denominator, kailangan nating mag-multiply sa numerator at saka sa denominator ng number in such a way na yung radicand sa denominator ay magiging perfect nth power. Okay, so halimbawa dito sa ating example number 1. 3 divided by the square root of 7. Anong multiply natin sa the square root of 7 para maging perfect square siya? So, ano bang may mga square root? Ang may mga square root, yun yung may mga exponent na 2 o yung base niya may exponent na 2. For example, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, 6 squared, 7 squared, 8 squared, 9 squared, and so on. Yung 2 squared, ibig sabihin, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. So, yan yung mga equivalent ng mga to. So, ibig sabihin, ang square root ng 4 ay 2. Ang square root ng 9 ay 3. Ang square root ng 16 ay 4. Okay? So, ang mga to ay may mga perfect square root. So, ngayon, Dito sa number 1, meron tayong the square root of 7. Ano ang multiply natin sa 7 para magkaroon tayo ng perfect square root sa denominator? So, tignan natin dito. So, eto yung pwede nating tignan. Para maging perfect square siya, multiply natin siya sa 7. So, multiply natin yung numerator at yung denominator niya ng the square root of 7 para maging perfect square yung nasa denominator. So, 3 times 7 is equals 3 the square root of 7. So, hindi natin pwede gawing 21 yan. Hindi pwede 3 times 7 is the square root of 21. Hindi yung pwede. Kasi ito, Wala siyang radical sign. Ito may radical sign. So, since magkaiba sila, kaya kukopyahin lang natin sila. 3 the square root of 7. Tapos, yung denominator naman, the square root of 7 times the square root of 7. So, since pareho sila may radical sign, so, pwede natin silang i-combine. So, 7 times 7 is equals to 49. So, ito yun. And 49, sabi nga kanina, ng 49 ay perfect square siya or meron siyang square root. So, the square root of 49 is equal to 7. So, kaya ito na siya. So, ang final answer natin is 3, the square root of 7, all over 7. So, as you can see, nawala na yung radical number dito sa denominator. Okay, next, let's have number 2 example. So, ang number 2 natin is the cube root of 2 divided by 3. So, iniwalay lang natin. So, this one is the same with this. So, the cube root of 2 divided by the cube root of 3. So, ngayon naman, ang number 2 natin, ang index niya ay 3. So, ano naman ang multiply natin dito sa radicand natin na 3 para maging perfect cube root ang radicand niya sa denominator? Okay, so ano ba ang may mga cube root? Yun naman yung may mga exponent na 3 o yung mga base na may exponent na 3. For example, 2 cube or 2 raised to 3, 3 cube, 4 cube, and 5 cube. And so on, so marami pa yan. So uh, ibig sabihin dito sa 2 cube, ibig sabihin ito ay multiply natin ng 2 tatlong beses sa sarili niya. 2 times 2 times 2 is equals to 8. 
Then, 3 times 3 times 3 is equals to 27. Then, 4 times 4 times 4 is equals to 64. And, 5 times 5 times 5 is equals to 125. So, sa number 2, meron tayo dito, kailangan tanggalin yung cube root of 3. So, ano kaya ang multiply natin dito sa 3 para maging perfect cube root yung denominator niya? So, tingnan natin dito. So, etong ang titignan natin. So, anong multiply mo dito sa 3 para maging 27? Okay. So, ang multiply natin dyan ay the cube root of 9. Kasi 3 times 9 is equal to 27. So, i-multiply na natin. Numerator and denominator. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. So, the cube root of 18. Then, the cube root of 3 times 9 is equal to 27. Since perfect cube root yung 27, at ito yun, so, ang 18, wala siyang cube root, Kaya the cube root of 18 lang siya. And the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. So, yun yung final answer natin sa number 2. Next. So, we have 2 divided by 3 plus the square root of 2. So, ang number 3 kailangan din natin irrationalize kasi merong radical number ang kanyang denominator. So, ang gagawin natin, so since meron tayo ditong two terms sa denominator. So, kukunin natin yung conjugate ng denominators. Kung ito ay addition, so ang conjugate niya ay 3 minus the square root of 2. So, kung minultiply mo siya sa numerator, ganun din ang gagawin mo sa denominator. So, kapag minultiply natin siya, ganito ang magiging sagot niya. So, paano naging 6 minus 2 the square root of 2? etong 6... Then, distribute lang natin yung 2 or i-multiply lang natin yung 2 dito sa first term. So, 2 times 3 is equal 6. Tapos, 2 times negative the square root of 2 is negative 2 the square root of 2. So, hindi mo pwedeng i-combine si 2 at saka 2. Hindi siya pwede maging 4 kasi ito walang radical sign. Ito. May radical sign. Kaya, kukopyahin lang natin siya. Negative 2 the square root of 2. So, since kinuha natin yung conjugate dito sa denominator, so, ang gagawin lang natin is kukunin natin yung square ng first term. So, ang square ng first term niya is 3 square. Tapos, yung sign natin na neg positive times negative is equals to negative. Tapos, square ng second term the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, so the square root of 2 squared. Pag sinimplify natin, so ito na yung magiging result, 6 minus 2 the square root of 2 all over 9 minus 2. So paano nangyari ito? So since si 6 minus 2 the square root of 7, hindi naman sila pwedeng i-combine kasi ito walang radical sign, ito may radical sign, so hindi sila pwedeng pagsamahin, kaya kukopyahin lang natin sila. Then, naging 9 minus 2 naman ang denominator kasi 3 squared is 9. Then, dito, para masimplify natin at maalis yung radical sign, so, kinansel lang natin yung index at saka yung exponent nila. Kaya, natira ay 2. Then, simplify. So, we have 6 minus 2 the square root of 2. 9 minus 2 is equals to 7. So, eto na yung final answer natin para sa number 3. Okay, so that will be the end of our part 2 about simplifying radical expressions. So